Hello everyone. I'm shooting a video here to just go over my old transmission. This transmission was fully rebuilt in August of 2015. Um, it had a brand new third gear set and second gear set, new synchros, one through six in it, as well as a, uh, a new bearing and whatnot. And uh, I got everything apart here and the parts laid out to show you actually what broke in the transmission. If you guys seen my latest videos, I've been showing you guys uh, kind of updates with the SI. I had to put a transmission in it that I had bought. And I'll show you now why I ended up buying a new transmission and not rebuilding this one. When I first heard the noise, I thought I broke the limited slip differential. And I was right in a way, I guess you could say. Um, right here is a differential. And what this here is, this is a carrier bearing for the differential. There's one on each side. And they ride in these little pocket grooves here. And uh, there's the other one right there. And your axles pop into each side of this here. When I did my launch, that's what happened to the carrier bearing on the, I think it's a, yeah, the passenger side. So I snapped the bearing clean in half. That's what's left of the bearing on the shaft right now, is this piece. This is what's left of the bearing as well. Here's the other half to it. So this goes on here like that, and the two halves go together. But it shattered it in half. These are just some of the balls left. This got all tangled up, and this was the outside casing to the bearing. It's all smashed up. So basically when I did my second gear launch, it shot a huge shock force through these bearings, and one of them failed. Actually, none of the gears broke in the car, actually. Here's my two gear sets. Now these have like 2,000 miles on them. They're like perfect still. There's nothing wrong with them. All the gears are still perfect. All the synchros are brand new, as I stated before. They have about 2,000 miles on them. So these gear sets are like brand new OEM Honda gear sets. I'm keeping them as spares right now, but I may sell them. They're worth some good money in the condition they're in for sure. But another thing with the differential is, you know, it rides in your car like this. And when I launched it, you know, it broke this side. So there's a huge force radially on the bearing. And it must have sent the differential kind of crooked when that happened because the differential itself is broken too. You see up close here, the cracked piece right here is the casing to the differential. That cracked starting over here, the cutout where you see the gears inside. It cracked it all the way over to here. When you spin it, the other side has a chunk missing right here. And it's cracked over to about right there. So, that's it. That's what caused my entire transmission to fail and sent me back, all said and done, probably $1,200 for the new one, and then I had to rebuild the new one, but the company covered it under warranty, the parts for that. So, um, yeah, K-Series transmissions are great. <laughs> the funny thing is, I don't, I, don't know if, I don't know how many people out there have actually broke the carrier bearings as the weak point because these are known to break the gears first. I've never broken a gear in this car. I guess it's a good thing that I didn't break any gears because these are still great spares to have. And like I said, they are worth quite a bit of money. And here's the internal magnet, which just shows all the shit from when uh, the bearing broke and sent metal everywhere. So that did a good job at catching it. Like there was a bunch on the drain plug as well some other miscellaneous parts in here just bolts and whatnot but yeah here's your these are your main components to the transmission this is like an oil tray it catches the oil and uh, there's your shifter mechanism these are the shift forks that go over the sliders and these parts here that change between your gears so yeah all in all the bearing broke and the differential broke the, the only other thing too is the reason I had to get it was kind of more cost effective just to buy a replacement transmission is because when that bearing broke it was riding in here and it kind of chewed up this edge with all the metal going everywhere from the bearing being shattered and 
riding around in there because I did drive this thing like 80 miles before I realized it was broken after I did the launch. It drove fine, I just, the exhaust was so loud on the highway I never heard the noises inside the transmission. So moral of the story I would say is that even if you were to build your transmission, spend like, you know, say I spent five, six grand on this to build all the gears so the gears could handle, let's say, a thousand horsepower or whatever, including the differential and whatnot. You still have those bearings which could fail. So it would have still broke. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already to follow my build. So I have an S2000 as well as another uh, Daily Driver Civic. But um, the SI is back together now, and uh, I should have some more videos of, up of that soon. But um, yeah, this is uh, this is cool for me to look too. It's a good learning experience to see everything inside the transmission. So. Stay tuned, subscribe, I'll see you guys.